All right, Shalom, brothers, Shalom. Hey, first off, I want to give all praise, honor, and the glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Merkakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught us this truth. My name is Brother Yahweh Shai Zion. All right, <clears throat> and I'm coming in the spirit and in the power of Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Merkakodash. All right, so. A disclaimer, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the name of the only begotten Son. Who the world calls Jesus Christ. I'm going to come right into the scriptures, man. You know, this is about an enduring hardship, brothers. You know, through everything that we go through, you know, we understand that we're enduring these things for the Lord's sake. Because through all afflictions, anything... You know, one, it's to gain experience and that experience brings about hope through the deliverance in your experience because ultimately you'll come out on top if you're of the Lord. OK, regardless, even in death. OK. That's why the scripture says, you know, godly sorrow, you know, we are not repentant of because we know that that's a good thing, you know. To suffer for the Lord, basically. All right, but the but the sorrow of the world bringeth death, and that basically is that the bad of this world brings death, man. If you're of the world and you're doing things in the world, man, you're just not going to prosper, you know. But when you in the scriptures, you're going to prosper even in suffering, if you can understand what I'm saying. So that, that's a blessing unto you. So it says here also, man, endure hardness as a good soldier, right? A soldier of Yahweh Shai. So let's get this. Uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 1. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Yeah. Be strong in, in that we are looking towards the end of this thing, which is Yahweh Shai coming back and delivering us. You know, the I guess another commander was assassinated out there in Iran. And, you know, how many times is this going to happen before they, you know, assemble and do something about it? So things are coming to pass. Verse 2, and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Now, that's very important, you know. And a guy jumped on the comment board, you know, and uh, no disrespect to the brother, you know. It's just that if you've been in this truth for three years or two years, you know, you should be out teaching yourself. You know, and the scripture says, you know, at the time ye ought to be teachers, you have need that one teach you again. And the scriptures here, the, the hardness that we endure is to make disciples of other men, you know, learners of other men. And in learning, it also says again, uh, verse two, and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses. And this is. It's like, you know, liken this onto Apostle Tahar's epistles. You've been watching Great Millstone for years. You know, we told you to go out teaching years ago. You know, I didn't need that much of, you know, learn, you know, what are you doing? What are, what are you doing with yourself, man? And if you always have questions like that, you know, it's like you should be already on a level. To what you should be teaching Especially under the tutelage of Great Millstone You know, there's tons of stuff to, to learn You know There's tons of videos And you have to commit these things that you heard Just like it says Okay, it says The same commit thou to faithful men So you commit these things that you heard Among us To faithful men You let them know Brothers who believe, man and faith without works is dead. Bear in mind. You can't just say you believe. You're a liar, you know, if you don't have the works. 
So you have to work, man. You know? And it's not just holding Bible study at your house. Because what are you studying? What are you doing? You know, that man's religion is in vain. You know, if you don't have the work to back it up. You see? And James 2, you know, it, it cuts into that. So anyways, man, it says to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. As it's written, you know, it says here the J word. But again, man, disclaimer, J was not invented past 500 years ago. All right. Just wasn't around. In 1600, it wasn't around. That's a fact. That's why we got the 1611 King James Version Bible to prove it. So anyways, man. It says, uh, No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. And at the end of the day, man, look, just may not be chosen, man. You know, if you don't want to go out teaching these scriptures, man, then hey, look, this probably ain't for you, all right? You may think it's for you or whatever, but it's not. You just, you don't want to teach. Uh, scripture says, man, commit those things that thou hast heard to faithful men. All right, who shall be able to teach others also. Now let's go into the word teach, man. Okay, be a teacher to discharge the office of a teacher. Conduct oneself one's self a teacher to impart instruction. Install doctrine, teaching into one, the thing taught and joined. And it also says to hold discourse with others in order to instruct them. Deliver didactic discourses. Okay. Like a minister To teach To teach one something To explain or expound a thing You should be able to break down the scriptures man You should be able to go line upon line You know here a little there a little And all questions should be You know regarding salvation man You know everything about salvation And I also want to put this out as a disclaimer um, if anybody has questions, you know, make sure it's pertaining to the content. Because you could confuse other people who came to learn about this, about salvation and, you know, whatever they needed to do, which is one, to repent of your sins. You have to pray diligently, man. All right. On a daily basis. In the name of Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the Son. And you have to go out teaching the scriptures, all right? Like Paul did. And he went out on a weekly basis. You know? He got the brothers together and he taught people. He repented of his sins. And he was dedicated to the ministry of the Lord. You know, what else are you doing with yourself? You know, playing PS5, PS3. You know, there's there's nothing else to do anyways. You, know, you got to be grown up in this thing, you know. And I'm not talking about age, physical age. Okay, so you, anyways, you should be able to teach because we're, we're the time is near. They're about to start doing these vaccines uh, in about a month. In about a month, we don't know what's going to unfold, man. Wars are happening, possibly. The vaccine's coming. You know, Bitcoin is surging 140% since last year. That's no surprise, man. 
All right. So, yeah, you know, the Lord chose certain men to be soldiers and to endure hardness, man, as a good soldier. And that's what we got to do. All right. Because the Howard Shai did it. Now we can also do it as well. Okay. Because Paul went through this stuff as an example to all brothers. Second Timothy 3 and 11. Persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me at Antioch, at Iconium, at Lystra. What persecutions I endured, but out of them all, the Lord delivered me. So yet, yeah, ultimately, brothers, it doesn't matter what happens, you know, to us. Because we're going to be delivered through the Holy Spirit. That understanding, wisdom, and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. So how do we make it out of here anyways? Well, through understanding, you know, what to do at that time. Which if we have to be put to death, we understand by the Holy Spirit that that's maybe what it has to be. You know? You know, he that tries to save his life shall lose it. And he that loses his life shall find it, man. You know, so we, hey, look, the time is short, man. Second Timothy 4 and 5. But watch thou in all things. Endure afflictions. Do the work of an evangelist. Make full proof of thy ministry. Do you hear that? This is to all brothers out there. If you're a grown man, even if you, you know, like I said, if you just came into the truth, that's what it says. But watch all, and thou in all things, endure afflictions. Do the work of an evangelist. So you have to go out. You have to teach. You have to go make disciples of other people. It's not going to make, you know, listening to me is cool, man, to get edification. But at the end of the day, man, you personally need to get on a level. You have to read yourself. Study to show thyself approved unto the Lord. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. If the Lord is working with you, you can simply read the scriptures and find out yourself with prayer. Fasting and prayer and read the scriptures. They break themselves down. If you read them in detail, you know, and not like a comic book, but line upon line, here a little, there a little. All right. That's how it's worked out. All right, now, if again, man, see this. If questions do pop up regarding something that was stated in the video, it'd be best to speak on that. Okay? You wouldn't go on a talk show, for instance, and it's about, you know, a certain topic and then just ask a question in the audience regarding a totally off different topic. You would look absolutely crazy to everybody. You know, imagine it was about, you know, uh, you know, women stepping out on their man or something. And then you, you ask the host, hey, I just had a question. Um, who do you think is going to win the Eagles game? You know, this weekend. That's all I had to say. I mean, the, the guy's going to look at you crazy. Everybody's going to boo you off the stage, man. Or boo you out of the arena. You know, that's the equivalent of, of how crazy it sounds. And this is regarding everybody, man. It's happened numerous times. Uh, with several different people. But, you know, hey... That, that you know, enduring is also having to study. You may be tired from work. And you don't feel like studying, but you're like, you know what? I have to put in at least 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I got to do what I got to do. You know, especially if you're not making videos. You better be studying, man. All right. And, and you know, like I said again, man, if you've been in this thing for a long time, if you've been in this thing for over a year and you're not ready to go teaching, 
you you are not diligent, man. And I would go as far as to say, I don't think you're a man of the Lord, you know. I just don't think you're a man of the Lord. How could you let a year pass knowing this beautiful knowledge and this truth and you're not moved and compelled to want to teach these scriptures, man? Nah, nah, I can't do that. You know, I can't do that, you know. Your house shine ain't down with that. All the scriptures cut you on that. Okay. So that's that. And, and, you know, how could you suffer if you're not going out teaching? How could you? Suffering what? All right? The Lord ain't give himself up so you could just live a life of passion and happiness. The servant is not greater than his master, all right? Hebrews 12 and 2. Looking unto Yahweh Shai, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Okay? For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself lest ye be wearied and faint in your minds yeah you got to consider that what the lord went through so that you don't give up because you got an example of a leader man and that's why you know we got the elders and different apostles who've been in this thing for a long time and say well they didn't quit so i ain't gonna quit neither man you know coach ain't quit so i'm not gonna quit you know, that's what, you know, it's like the army with drill sergeants. Well, drill sergeant ain't letting me quit. So I ain't, I'm not going to quit because drill sergeant ain't letting me quit. You know, like I told the, the brother Kassad, you know, we were doing planks. And the brother, I think he did, his top was like a minute, minute three, 30 seconds or something to top plank. But when he was with me. He did two minutes, 40 something seconds, man. 46 seconds. Because I wouldn't let him quit. I said, don't quit, man. The next man could do two minutes. The next man could do one minute. You got to go more than him. And it's true. And it's just like this truth. Hey, man, look, man, the next man, these devils uh, out here, these people in the world, they ain't going the extra mile. They don't care. The next man's relaxing on his couch you got to go harder than him you got to do videos you got to read the scriptures the next man stops at 10 pages in you got to go 20 pages you got to push yourself man all right you got to endure all right a james 1 and 12 blessed is the man that endureth temptation for when he is tried he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. And the Lord said, if you love me, keep my commandments. And, and he commanded, you know, brothers to go out teaching, man. That's a commandment. He said to go out into the highways and the hedges and compel, compel my people to come in. All right, enough said. Shalom, my brothers.